Guess we ran into more trouble than Claw, you did. Seventh you Division. You did. Whatever. You only had wimpy These talentless luck. kids walk themselves into captivity. He might get special treatment. It wasn't. No, it him. wasn't him. Yeah. You're saying you encountered another Esper? There's a yeah. bigger Esper. The biggest Esper. He wasn't part of the mission, so I left him. This is why I didn't want to pair up with you. You gotta take some initiative at work. <laughs> this all There's no mistaking Bob. Indeed. He's always gonna be on people's radar from now on, now on out. I'll make sure the division leader never Cla hears a upper echelon, Tirada. This is the worst person to overhear us. I see there are <laughs> office dramatics. Can't escape it. Even criminals. There's just no escaping office politics. It doesn't matter what job you do. It's one of those weird things about life. Like, you imagine things to be a certain way. Like, you imagine the things you, you don't like about, let's say, work are escapable. But you end up jumping from the fire pan to the fire and you find that life is just life and people are just people. That may sound really bleak and brutal, but I think the positivity in there is realizing that the circumstantial elements can make big differences, of course. And there are great jobs, but maybe there's something better to focus on, which is just like one's own outlook and how one feels about life and just being grateful, etc. Episode 9, Claw, 7th Division. Just like the name of the building. Pardon me for asking, Tarada. Is that a Cresta? Be to bring the other scars too? They're designated by their scars? We're just gonna go nip a little trouble in the bud. Oh. A little extracurricular work. I think you're going to need somebody pretty special on your side for this. What do you mean? Somebody strong and extremely smart. Bob is so out of his depth. Not because of power, Bloody because he's like on. this. There's no <laughs> for you to yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> I'm talking about me. They would be great allies, though. I mean you. You get serious about Everybody this, wants a piece of mob. No way we'd lose. Uh, How can you say that? We don't even have a clue where to start. And we don't really have a lot of time. We're trying to get what's her name's attention. Uh, Ouch. That was brutal. I'm looking for Kageyama. Now, which one of you would that be? Let's ask him some questions. Hmm. What was they saying about Bob not being equipped for this? He seems ready to go. That kid's probably gonna go through some harsh torture. But this time there are two of them. Yeah, here's that harsh torture for Mob. Why don't you just let him catch his breath and roll? And only Terra by himself is doing it. Do you have any idea how cruel that suggestion is? You don't have to be nice to scum like these clowns. What were they? What were they doing to them? What were they doing to them? And why were middle students? middle school students doing that to them. Why was that where their mind went right away? Couldn't they have done whatever it is they were doing with clothes on? But either way, it seems like this is legit torture. Work. Me. Mob is too kind of a kid to torture. Mob. Waterboarding. <laughs> Everything you just said to me is from the information that I gave you! <laughs> you know about their hideout, the names, the Damn, maybe the quick work of them. The scar members. What a joke. You've got to wonder about Claw's management system. I'm telling you, man. Office environments. Need I remind you that you Claw, upper just echelon Meraki. Makes you about 30 minutes late. Mukai. I can tell she's deadly. As long Takeuchi. as we do what we need to do when we need to do it, it's fine. <laughs> Miyagawa. Heard you got your ass kicked by a middle schooler. He's got a very damn. What's the character's name in Death Note? Ryuk. He's got a very Ryuk-like feel. I suggest you stop playing around with these a lot of them. Games. Shut your mouth, Fugly. A lot of enemies for Mob to step what? over one by one. Hope you weren't waiting long. I just got a message from the boss. Ishiguro. Yeah, this is only the division. Interesting. But it seems doubtful that he picked you, deep. considering how badly you messed up today. How disorganized your meetings are. Because of that, we'll steal all we can, stand at the top of the world, and lead humanity into its rightful and glorious future. What morons. Listen up, you cocky natural brats. What's happening with this dude's face? This is a big misunderstanding, so please let us go. Did you all make a secret agreement to act wow. as you don't have any psychic Neck. powers? Or is it chin? Now show me your powers. Be quick. Don't do it. I mean, they do have powers. It's just that their powers are not that developed. Nobody holds out on me. K Kaito! This guy heard that the show likes ball chins and just took it to level 1,000. That didn't sound good. No, Kaito, what have they done to you? Don't they have a bond, like a psychic bond? Can he send something? <sighs> Got super. Oh my god! I was not expecting that at all. These henchmen were just such lackeys. I was like, oh, I let my guard down. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> that's like by far the most horrific thing that's happened in the show so far. These powers can't be coming from a child. My Cresta! <laughs> Should we go after him? 
Nah, he's too pathetic to worry about. Considering how badly we beat him, I doubt he'll defy us again. It'd just be a waste of time. Ouch. <laughs> Airwhips! With a range of 60 meters, my powers will display yeah, nothing that says terror like air whips. The trees. Birds. Come to think of it, it's like, um, it's like My Hero Academia, in the sense that some of these powers in these shows are really cool, and then also they have air whips. Kageyama, are you alright? Yeah, Do you even need to ask? <laughs> oh no, he's well, mildly inconveniencing them. My powers are pretty impressive, huh? No. <laughs> Mama's just so relaxed, it's like, powers. he might as well just be in his living room. It means nothing to him. Come one with the tree. This battle will only last one night. Are we doing this? Are we actually doing this? Or are we gonna skip it again? Skip it again. Undefeated! Can't stop thinking about it. Blood everywhere. Shut but up. on the real though, this is Reach's moment. If they're gonna torture me and brainwash me later, I'd rather risk my life trying to escape. Damn, that doesn't feel like a weak younger brother at all. Help us escape from this place. Have a heart, dude! Sure. No, I, I feel like he's the best one to understand right now. Yeah. Apparently, my younger brother's fine. Oh, what? We're telepaths. Right, right? they do have that connection. We okay. Communicate with each other that is a huge relief. Is far away. I was talking to him just now. Weird. They're making uh, like doppelgangers or something. That show us illusions. Or illusion. It's kind of cool. If he can make people see what he wants them to see, why does he allow them to see his giant ball chin? Well, before I tell you all of my plans, I just wanted to know. What are your names again? <laughs> you never Man, thought anything you don't even of them. Remember our names? What's wrong with you? He was preoccupied. I get it. He was in a place, and now there's a little bit more perspective given the danger. I'm gonna hear this twice and it, not remember I have any of it. strong telekinetic powers. I remember their powers though. This is Match Guy. Kaito's my little Twin brother. Guy. Taken away from us. Right. Let's hurry up and rescue Kaito. I think I know their names now. One. And don't forget Twin, the trainers are right over Matches, there. Elvis, and Girl. Here goes any chance we had of leaving this place. Not necessarily. Get it together, girl. Now, Hoshino! Alright! Nice, they can combine their powers. Becoming greater than the sum of their parts. That's actually really cool. Well done, brats. What's they made a lot of noise, you? screaming. Huh? Can't wait to hear about it. If you think we're gonna hold back on you because you're kids, you're mistaken. But he's the most powerful out of them all right now. I don't think that. The three of you are incompetent, disposable lackeys. So why would I ever expect you? <laughs> he takes the power. Sense. What was I saying about like just feeling it once and then being able to act as if? Like, you can all just escape right now. Bending. At Mr. the very Andrew! least, he might take a beating, what? or he might kick their asses. And it's way more satisfying, having been bullied before. That's crazy. I already know his trajectory. This is what he needs. Weirdly, this event, just to give him perspective, he's gonna prove to himself that he is everything he feared he wasn't. Even if it's just a tiny step, I feel like just having the momentum, just having a reversal, you know, having the first piece of evidence that, oh no, actually I am capable of that. I'm not totally worthless in this department. It is possible for me to get what I want, even if it takes more time than I than I would like it to or than I thought it would. That is the first part of a potential cycle or feedback loop where it just feels good to have a win. You experience so many losses in life or in a certain area, you start to think that that's just a quality that is embedded in your very being. It just takes one. You know, it just takes one success to sort of question that whole schema of belief. And then maybe it's possible to focus more on the doing of the thing rather than being so wrapped up in the identity of yourself in the thing. Personally, I'm a firm believer in this idea that the perfect is the enemy of the good. I've watched a lot of perfectionists get in their own way of doing great things by never being satisfied with what they could do. And I've experienced delaying things I really wanted to do because I wasn't convinced I could do it adequately without realizing that one of the criteria to doing things well or adequately is to start doing them and learn how to do them. It's funny because I was just talking to a friend of mine and he had this idea I really like about something connected where he said that he just thinks of himself as having a certain range of ability and he's not going to surpass that ability and he's probably not going to fall below that ability and it's no use really to ruminate on what that level is you just find areas of life where your range of ability is just good you know or solid or whatever good enough and then you just you sort of let go a little bit and just do it and sort of relinquish the control in that way. Ritsu is no mob, but he's no slouch. I mean, even without the psychic abilities, he's like a solid dude and he'll get what he wants out of life. He's just been in his own way for so long. He's been living in the shadow of mob, but more importantly, mob as a symbol for his own projections of greatness that he feels he can't live up to. But putting that aside for a second and just being Ritsu, he'll perform really well and he'll crush it. And the better he does in these small areas, the more likely it is he'll find something grand for him to do because he'll have stripped away some of the things holding him back. We needed to show them that we were limited in our powers. Mm -hmm. This is a blind spot for that security camera. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no. Let's have whoever's watching think we're being disciplined. It's really clever, but in a way, it's also kind of dark and sad. You just sort of use them. At this point, we're gonna have to rely on your clairvoyance. Huh? My there you powers? go. You include. Can we count on you? Your friends. I'll, I'll give it my best. Oh, give, give me a break. <laughs> Here we go. In the end, Mob will envy Ritsu for his ability to get dates. It's the air whips. I figured them out. <laughs> Let's not sleep on Taro. He's pretty, pretty cool. And obviously very talented, but we can do better than air whips. All right, let's go. I have never been more faithful in the ability of middle school students to take down an evil organization. We should go this way. Let's move. I hope Mob acts as someone who ends up collaborating with Ritsu's newfound strength, as opposed to someone who like robs him of it. Leave all these lackey grunts to me, okay? <laughs> now, the first thing we should do is find out where they're holding your brother. Oh, okay. Sorry. He's so laid back. It's really starting to throw me off. Personality-wise, they're a really good duo. He said the basement. There we go. That wasn't so hard, now was it? Thank goodness. <laughs> you fools. We can hear you over the radio. We got intruders. Go capture them. Hold up. Let's contact the Scars about this. You never know. They might be espers. They want Mob, anyway. These two just it's walk themselves right him. into where they're that means meant to be held asking. anyway. There's something very Metal Gear Solid about this crew of villains. I sort of wish the leader had a British accent. Find the intruders, but you won't get away with losing to the same person twice. Yeah, I know. What does that mean? Well, I'm glad you're doing all right. I'll kill you this time for sure. He's in a worse position than he was before. It's just that he's angrier. You're gonna have to face me. Mob's already faced him, <laughs> which means I feel like it's gonna be even easier this time. Mob was sort of held back last time. I can't move a finger! You're either getting demoted or killed. I don't really know how this organization works, but it's not gonna be good. Koyama's not responding. We're dealing with something <laughs> powerful here. That's because he is <laughs> dead. Pathetic. Let's go. He it's became one with the ceiling. Intruders, the true terror of Claw. I think it's time for you to learn the true terror of Mob. <laughs> It's funny how dramatically the show shifted in a couple episodes. We went from like a boy trying to find his way in middle school and having crushes and joining athletic clubs to taking down a evil organization bent on global takeover and destruction. One thing I'll say about the show is that it's consistently very pleasant in its self-awareness and sort of humanity of its characters. Because the villains are part of this evil organization called Claw, but they end up just being like a bunch of squabbling office workers. Like the show keeps its heart no matter what the circumstances it seems. I felt that way about the guy who just became one with the ceiling. From like the very first time he spoke you know he just seems like a dude sort of doing his job it probably goes for all of them i really wonder what's in store for the the villainous crew and if there's anyone who will actually give mob a serious threat if some of these characters will actually get real life and when we can finally get back to middle school so that mob can impress his crush and work on his biceps mm -hmm.